in this lecture we will be focusing on image enhancement and the various techniques which are involved in image image enhancement now image enhancement techniques are broadly classified under two different heads spatial domain and frequency domain spatial domain techniques are based on direct manipulation of pixels in an image whereas frequency domain techniques are based on modifying the fourier transform of an image so basically there are some enhancement techniques based on various combinations of methods from these two categories now talking about spatial domain methods what exactly they are the so spatial domain methods are basically procedures that operate directly on pixels mathematically it can be represented as g of x is equal to t of f of x comma y where f of x comma y is the input image g of x comma y is the processed image and t is an operator on f defined over some neighborhood of x comma y the spatial domain enhancement can be carried out in two different ways the first one is point processing and the next one is neighborhood processing so under point processing we have image negatives as we can see there are two different images here the first one is original digital original digital mammogram whereas the next one is negative image obtained using the negative transformation so basically an image with gray level in the range 0 to l minus 1 negative transformation is represented as s which is given as equal to l minus 1 minus r so here reversing the intensity levels of an image it is suitable for enhancing white or gray detail embedded in dark regions of an image especially when the black area is dominant in sight so this can be easily understood by the following example The first one is the original mammogram showing a small lesion of a breast whereas the other one the second image is the actual negative image which gives a better vision to analyze the image so this is how point processing is used here to better analyze the image the next one we that we have is log transformation so log transformation is basically given by the formula s is equal to c log of 1 plus r where c is a constant and r is greater than or equal to 0 so basically here what happens is the log curve maps a narrow range of gray level values in the input image into a wide range of output levels so basically it is used to expand the value of dark pixels in an image while compressing the higher level value so this is how log transformation works The next thing that we have is power law transformation. The power law transformation is given by the formula S is equal to C into R raised to gamma, where C comma gamma are nothing but the positive constants. Now power law curves with fractional values of gamma map a narrow range of dark input values into a wider range of output values, with the opposite being true. for higher value of input levels so we can say that c is equal to gamma minus 1 which is nothing but the identity function the next that we have is contrast stretching now to increase the dynamic range of the gray levels in the image being processed we use contrast stretching friends we need to keep one thing in our mind that contrast stretching produces higher contrast than the original by two different methods the first one is darkening the levels below m in the original image the next one is brightening the levels above m in the original image so these are some of the conventions that we need to keep in our mind the locations of r1 comma s1 and r2 comma s2 control the shape of the transformation function If R1 is equal to S1 and R2 is equal to S2, the transformation is a linear function and it produces no change at all. But if R1 is equal to R2, S1 is equal to zero, and S2 is equal to L minus one, the transformation becomes a thresholding 
function that creates a binary image. Generally, R1 less than or equal to R2 and S1 less than or equal to S2 is assumed. Now, next thing that we have is bit plane slicing. To highlight the contribution made to the total image, appearance by specific bits. Bit, sli bit plane slicing is used. Here, as we assume that each pixel is represented by 8 bits, the image is composed of 8 1-bit planes, where plane 0 contains the least significant bit and plane 7 contains the most significant bit. So this is how it is assumed. Only the high order bits that is top 4 contain visually significant data and the other bit planes contribute more subtle details. As you can see, this is an image of 8-bit fractal image. What is a fractal image? Fractal image is an image which is generated from mathematical expressions. So these are the list of another planes of the image. The next thing that we have is grayscale manipulation. This is the simplest form of window which is represented as 1 cross 1. We assume that input grayscale values are in the range 0, L minus 1 in 8-bit images where L is equal to 256. And n through transformation is given as S is equal to C into R raised to N. This is the basic gray level transformation functions used for image enhancement. Here we can see there is a graph of input gray level R versus output gray level S. So that's all about grayscale manipulation. Thank you.